I'm in Bargetown, Kentucky at the Jailers Inn Bed and Breakfast. This building was the old Nelson County Jail, which housed prisoners from 1797 till 1987 on this property. The front part of the building was constructed in 1819 and the back side was built in 1874. So a very, very long time. It was Kentucky's longest operating jail. They executed many, many people on this property throughout the years, and it was very harsh conditions. No heat with Kentucky winters and no plumbing. So many deaths on this property through the harsh conditions or the executions. And in 1909, prisoners were complaining how haunted it was. Here's an article from way back then. One of the most well-known ghosts that is still at the jail is that of Martin Hill and he had harmed his wife who was pregnant but didn't make it and before he was supposed to hang he became violently ill and he in his cell my friend and I believe that we connected with him a few years ago when we were last here here's the clip I'm not sure what this is I'm not sure what this is So isn't that little clip there crazy? Keep on watching because we definitely do connect with several spirits while we are here tonight. So keep watching. Hi guys, it's Whitney and welcome to my channel. I'm here with my best friend Ashley at the Jailers Inn <laughs> Bed and Breakfast. Say hey, girl. Uh, hey. <laughs> so We're in a different place this time. Yeah, we are. This is our third time staying here on Hollow's Eve. We're already getting some action. I'm loving it. So one of our cat balls, it's lit up multiple times. And she is testing to see if walking past it or wave your hand over again. And we'll see. It doesn't light it up. We have two of them. And I've just walked past it. All right. Gotta check that out. Yeah, for sure. Could you light the ball up for, what does that say? Killer. Well, we are in a jail. Could you light the ball up again for us, please? Look at all the equipment we have, guys. We have the Paralight, dousing rods. The ring camera, but yeah, that's that. it's not working. We have a spirit box, two cat balls, rim pod, flashlights. I have a GoPro over there set up in the corner. All right. Oh, I cannot believe that happened multiple times. I know, and then now it's not. Yeah. I walked past it. I even jumped in front of it. My phone just said, my name is George. Okay, George, could you touch the ball again and light it up? Or could you touch the paralyte for me to let us know that you are actually here with us? That's me. George, what were you in here for at this jail? Oh, thank you so much, George. Ashley, the cat ball is going off again. Thank you, George. Thank you so much. So we are in the garden room. Highly recommend. We normally stay in the jail cell. Yes, an actual jail cell. I love this room. What do you think, Ashley? I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. We have all of our equipment up here. The we fireplace is so upstairs. cute. Yeah, I know. We did our interview down low on, on the first floor, obviously. Yeah, so in case you didn't know, we, we actually are on an episode of a TV show for being here. We are, so this piano 
will often play back self in the middle of the night with no one around. All right, guys, so we're outside of the jail going to the old Pioneer Cemetery to go check that out. It's nice and cold out here. <laughs> In 1789, lots 111 and 112 at the corner of 4th and Grave Streets were set aside for a public graveyard. It is possible they had already been used for that purpose before this year. Concerned about pollution of water supplies in 1819, the trustees ruled that no one could be buried within the town except on the jail lot. The above two lots, all other burials had to be in the graveyard outside of town, probably referring to the Presbyterian Cemetery on the north center of the preemption. John Fitch, the inventor of the steamboat, what was that? Was buried here in 1798 and his remains were moved in 1927 to be placed under the memorial in the court square. The cemetery was used until the 1850s when land was purchased north of town for a new one. Did some lights just go out? Yeah, and uh, John Fitch actually passed away at the jail. So this grave is for Proctor Ballard and he was in the Revolutionary War. He lived from 1760 to 1820. All right, what does it say? Alexander McCown, Private PA Militia, Revolutionary War. Oh, wow, there's September several. September 25th, 1755 till September 25th, 1835. Wow. We are currently on the outside of the jail. And this is where the gallows are, where they hanged many men both guilty and innocent. It's really pretty out here. The little bunny is out here. I don't know if you can tell. Little, little fluffy guy right there. But this is where the original gallows was. There was, they used to have it right here. And not all of the hangings went how they were supposed to. Some of them went really bad and the person didn't pass away and they kind of suffered and they used to have people backed up around them watching it it was a public execution Thank you so much. Can you hit it again for us, please? Can you touch the paralyte for us again? If you would like for us to leave you alone, tap the light and we'll leave you alone. Maybe it's because we're not looking. Mm -hmm. Touch it again for us, please. I, I was sick. Okay, someone's touching the flashlight. Can you hit the flashlight again for us? Thank you. Turn the flashlight, thank you. Turn it off again.
My name is Lizzie. That's what it just said. Oh my gosh. I need to tell them about the bag. Yeah. So we were just on a live with our friends. And Ashley has a bag on her bed and it legit moved. But anyways, I was telling her I need the headphones so I can tweak this so it works properly. And then all of a sudden it's like, device. I have it up as loud as it'll go. I can't hear anything. What are you doing? We're trying to get evidence. Can you speak in? Happy. You're happy? Is it an inmate? Help me. Hello. Hello. Are you an Emmy? Shh. Hello, Peanut. Nothing's coming through. See, I know saying I can't hear anything. I'm gonna take this off. Did I answer anything that you asked? There was a couple. Really? Yeah. Uh, the sh came in. That was weird. But uh, she it or whatever you said about she. Did yeah. you write it down? You know what? I didn't even write nothing down. I was just speaking it out loud. <laughs> no, well, that's what they do anyways. But, um,. I have to like really show you. Yeah. Because it could have been her because you said her because I was bringing her up and I was asking how she died and then um, will you talk to us and then shh or something like that. So. Hmm. Okay, so there is one spirit that is her apparition has been seen many times. Is Miss McKay. She was a female jailer. Before her, her husband was the jailer. Um, after he had passed, she was elected in. And her apparition is seen multiple times on the top floor window by guests and people that was passing by. She's been seen multiple times in here. And I want to try to connect with her. Alright, let's use the spirit rod. So one you're using spirit rods. Cross means yes, away from means no. I want to see if I can connect with Miss McKay, please. Cross the rods if you are here. Is the spirit of Miss McKay, the jailer, here? Did you enjoy? Like being in charge of the jail. You did? Do you like that people see you still in your apparition? Can you say anything on the Spirit Talker app on my phone to let us know that it's for sure that you that I'm talking to? I 
I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Oh, she responded. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Are there a lot of other spirits here at the jail besides just you? Thank you. Yes. There's quite a few. I feel like this is definitely moving. It's not me. She scares people. Miss McKay does? She scares people. What, when people see her um, apparition. apparition, it mm -hmm. scares them. All right, so we just had breakfast. By the way, it was completely amazing. But the man who owns the Madden Breakfast said that there's been several people to say that there is a little boy named Joshua that stays in our room. I wish we would have known that last night. Maybe that's who was touching our cat we balls had last a night. Name. We I need to go back and see all the names that I got. But a little boy, I don't know. Apparently he could be from someone who was incarcerated here and the little boy wanted to stay with the person that was here. Maybe their dad or something. But there's nothing that's been actually documented. So. Alright, so this is what you would wear if you was being hanged at the gallows. And this is what the public executions would look like. The crowd of people. This is a picture of a public hanging for Phil Evans. And also, they would have open caskets yeah. for people to see. If I saw all this happening at the jail, I think I would try to be as good as a person as I could so I didn't have to come in here. Right? Especially. Uh... Oh, wow. This picture shows someone hanging. And then this is the room that we normally stay in. It's a gel cell room. Highly recommend. And this says, girl tries crawling out slot in jail door and gets stuck in 1970. She tried to crawl out this right here. Can you imagine? So you've been here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in another video very soon.